for me, it started kind of a lot earlier because my brother's six years older than me. So when he was applying, I was already like going to schools with him. Um, so that's actually when I saw the campus for the first time. And I just remember my parents saying like, oh, this is an amazing math and science school. And that's already what I knew I was interested in. So it's just never really left my mind since then. So I had a few options while looking at colleges. I was looking at Duke, Vanderbilt, Washington University, in St. Louis and UTK. And actually, it's pretty funny, Vanderbilt was my lowest on my list. I did not want to go to Vanderbilt. I was dead set against it because it was, I thought it was too close. And um, my mom convinced me to go visit the campus one day. And after seeing the campus, beautiful campus, seeing the way their freshman year is set up, all the students looking happy, it definitely won my heart over. Ever since that visit, uh, it's been my number one. I actually had a lot more at first. I had like 20. And then one day I was like, this is just not feasible. I'm, I don't like all the colleges, I, like I don't, I'm not really passionate about all the ones I'm applying to, so I just sat down and I um, really looked at the ones that I could probably take off that um, I weren't as passionate about as, as others, so I cut it down to the 12 that I had. Um, and especially for me, financial aid was really important because my family doesn't have a lot of money, so I needed that um, outside money um, from them. Um, also major, just because we're, like that's why you're going to college, you're going to get an education, so I wanted to be sure that they had um, the major that I really wanted. So, And um, some smaller things were like location. Um, I really wanted to not be in the country, I want to be more in the city. So just like things like that really um, played a role in my, the, one, the schools I applied to. I didn't really focus on things that didn't appeal to me as much, but um, like I, I tried to join Science Olympiad and like Science National Honor Society, Mu Alpha Theta, um, and I just tried to pursue those interests and like have some sort of a linear like relationship between what I did throughout high school. And then I think one of the biggest things on my application is actually that last summer I did like a research program um, for six weeks, and I think that's something that. For a lot of high schoolers, especially around this area, is not an experience that um, comes like so easily, just like with the resources we have here. So I guess like pursuing extra interests that school might not be able to offer you would be really um, helpful as well. You don't have to be best at everything. Just focus on things you're passionate about and good about and really put your soul into that. Like I wasn't great at sports or dancing or theater, theater or singing, but I was really interested in leadership, so I really focused my time and effort into that. So find something that you're really passionate about and do that. I would say do clubs you actually enjoy and don't just do stuff to make your resume look good because I think colleges can definitely tell when you're doing like 50,000 random clubs, like if you're on Science Olympiad and you're also on Youth and Government and then you're also running like 500 other clubs like I think they can definitely tell when you're doing stuff just to try to make yourself look good rather than you're doing stuff you actually enjoy so and I wasn't even thinking of applying to Harvard until 11th grade so it wasn't really even something in my mind but um, but so I did in 9th and 10th grade I did clubs I enjoyed and I um, joined Youth and Government in 10th grade so I would say don't be fake, like don't just do stuff to do stuff, do stuff you actually enjoy doing and not for the power and position aspect to look good on applications. Um, there are different aspects to applications such as test scores, extracurriculars, and essays, and I think my strong point was my essays just because um, for the schools I was applying to my scores were a little bit, like my test scores were a little bit below average, so I really needed to shine in another area. Um, and since writing is my strong suit, um, I really put a lot of time and effort into my essays, and I think it really paid off because I wrote stuff I was really proud of. And um, so, yeah, I think essays were the biggest part for me, just because I'm a good writer and I um, can really shine through those. I think making sure you could really see my personality through my essays and short answers really stood out. Um, I applied to QuestBridge and it gave me a lot of short answer spots and essay spots to really verbalize my story. And I think through that I was allowed to really see my personality and the officers could really see who I was through my words. I think test scores only go so far. Like You can't determine if anyone would get in if like there's plenty of 36s who are rejected every year, stuff like that. So. I think it's best not to like stress about that one extra point um, and just like focus on other things that could help you more.